Okay guys, for this tutorial I'm going to show you how to remove hi-hat samples from a drum loop using RX-6. Now, generally speaking, if you want to isolate something in a sample or you want to remove something, you can usually do this pretty well by just EQing it. Or if that doesn't work, you can use uh, more advanced types of EQ like mid-side EQ, or you can double the channel, flip the phase to isolate out the other one. You can use all these kind of techniques, but sometimes they just don't work and you need to go a little bit more advanced and that's where something like RX-6 comes into play. So let's just have a quick listen to this sample I've got here. <clears throat> okay, so we've got a nice little drum pattern going on and what I want to do is I want to take the hi-hats out so I can isolate the kick and the snare. So I can cut them up and I can play them on a drum machine. Okay, so that's what I want to do. So if we listen to the sample again and loop for the location of the hi-hat, we can see that this little blob here, this is probably the hi-hat. So if we just flip the view, we know the hi-hat is in this area. Now, down here, this is the low frequencies and up here is the high frequencies. And we all know hi-hat's high frequencies, so I predict that it's probably this area here. So what we want to do is we come down to the lasso tool, which is there, click on that, and we draw a ring around the area we want to remove like so. And then what we do is we come over to the Spectral Repair tool, click on that, and you'll get these four algorithms. Now, they all do something slightly different. And what I'll do is I'll take a photo of what they all do in the manual and I'll post them on the screen now. So you can have a look at those and decide which one you want to use. But for this example, I'm going to use Attenuate. So what it's doing is it's looking in the background at the volume and it's going to try and average it out and remove this. Okay, so let's just lasso that again. This is a bit of a trial and error thing, the lasso. Sometimes you'll take too much out, sometimes you won't take enough out. You know, you just want to have a bit of an experiment with that. Then once you've done that, click process. And as you can see, it's all dulled out now. So let's just have a little listen to that. We can hear there's like a little wolf in there, so let's just isolate that. That's what I think that is. Take that out. Let's listen to it now. That's better. So let's move on to the second one. Just draw a ring around that like so. Process. And then this little blob down here. Process. And let's have a listen to the full thing. And for this example, that's pretty close enough for me. Um, like I said, you know, have an experiment with the lasso tool. You know, you can you can draw bigger rings, you can draw it tighter, play around with the different algorithms. There's also um, a lot of different settings within the algorithms to kind of really home in on what you want to take out. So yeah, um, that's all really, guys. Hope that was helpful to some of you. Uh, any questions, just uh, send me an email or message me in the comment section on this video. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and if I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. Goodbye.